Hey, what's up, everyone? We're playing some more Minecraft today. Last episode, we started our new mega base, which is right behind me, as you can see. And we left off last episode talking about building an auto sorter or an auto inventory system. So we're going to pick up right where we left off. That's what I'm going to be starting on. Um, I think first I'm going to lay out all of the chests and then I'm going to build the actual system itself. But without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Okay, everyone. So a little update. Um, I told you guys I'd want to start working on an automated um, inventory system. And that's exactly what I have done. So I have not moved any of the items and I have not built the actual automation parts itself. First, I needed to get a big layout of the entire inventory. So here's what I did. I made a big ring and this has a lot of items and then I have one small internal ring and this is for any obviously non stackable items so let me give you guys a little tour and of course the reason again that I needed to rebuild another inventory system was because in my old system I'd have things on top of each other like I'd have diamond gold iron you know emerald but when doing um an, an self you know how am I like forgetting the word um, like a separation system the chest can't be on top of each other because a hopper will grab what's on top of it right so the reason this one is so much more massive is because each item needs its own individual you know um, vertical slice so a diamond needs its own vertical slice emerald its own vertical slice so it ends up creating this you know much much larger system but in this system I've also combined a lot more things. So it's larger and it's even, in a sense, less specific in some areas. So let me give you guys a quick tour. So I started with stones and then the three different to andesite, diorite, um, and whatever that one is. Then I have, oh, am I missing a block here? I think I'm missing the stairs for that. Um, so I have the end stuff. I have ice. I have sandstone with some miscellaneous dirts. I've got all of the nethers, I've got all of the woods, I've got all of the ocean stuff, colored glass, uh, redstone sand, I've got all of the wools, I've got all of the terracottas, some more ocean stuff, I've got a lot of the new stuff, so the deep slate crystal stuff, I've got mob drops and stackable just random items, you know, sticks, bells, stuff like that, and if we come over here, I have uh, my ores, some of the rare items. This shelf is kind of empty for now. And then I have my plants section. So these are all plants. And then I come over here. These are all my flowers and dyes. And then I have it empty. Oh, and then I have here I have doors, uh, pressure plates, fences. And see, this is where a lot of the compression comes. All the types of doors I'm going to funnel into here. So this thing alone will have to have like six different separators for all the types of doors. Um, and over here, I've got all, you know, like buildable items, you know, all the workstations, paintings, signs, and then lastly, I have redstone. So that is kind of like all of my sections. And then in the middle, once again, all non-stackable things. So um, here, I'm going to put all my potions. Here, I'm going to put all my books. Um, over here, I have all the discs, um, armors, and then I just have a lot of random non-stackables, cakes, armor stands conduits i think these actually might be stackable i forgot but i'm not going to get that many um buckets heads shulkers and then obviously here's all of my armor and tools um so yeah these will all be in the middle and what i'm going to have is a hole over here i'm going to always land in here because this is the stuff that i'm really the thing i mostly work with is all of this rockets and then um i might add a different thing for food maybe somewhere here because right, right now my uh foods technically right here in my food section but um yeah originally you guys see why are all these walls missing because originally um i had this out oopsies i had this outside donut ring and i didn't have the middle and everything in the middle i put into these small holes and i really didn't like how i had one inventory system two inventory system three four you know um so instead i just decided to have this kind of like donut shape with these also and then i gave myself room you know to play with some of the uh um there's a big old helicopter helicopter outside oh what's up it's one of those i don't know if it's like a rescue helicopter or like a military helicopter you guys can probably hear it if anyone can tell the differences between planes based on the world length then um 
I don't know, you need to get hired or something by the military, but yep, that's what I have so far. So my next step here is I'm going to start putting some hoppers in the up direction and up in that area. I'm going to start building every single one of the dude. How am I forgetting the word? What is it called? I haven't even been playing this game for this and I'm literally doing a project on it. It's like item separators, you know, um, but I'm going to have to build one for each of these. So in some sections like the colored glass, you know, I only have one item. But even this is tricky because technically there's colored panes. So for each of these, I'm going to have to have two separate, um, you know, separators because I'm going to have to separate the panes too. Um, oh, anything that's marked with a stair, that means stairs and slabs. So for any stair... It also includes slabs um, because I wasn't going to make a slab and a stair uh, slice because that's just I would have ran out of room, to be honest. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'll leave you guys. I'm going to just uh, keep doing more work here. OK, everybody. So now that all of the chests are placed out, I got to start planning on how I'm going to be doing the actual, you know, mechanism of the separation of the inventory and I did mention it last episode but I will be using um, this same system right here so if you guys see this simple simple design it is unsorted right so items go through a pipe and basically this uh, uses a comparator with a repeater and a redstone torch when it senses that there is an item of the same type above it it's going to drag it down, it's going to change the power levels, and it's going to basically let it through. But if it's, you know, a different type of item, it's not going to change the power at all. This is going to stay locked, and it keeps moving through. But real quick, let me go ahead and jump into a redstone world, and I'll give you guys a super, super, super quick tutorial on how to make it. Um, you can start building the sorter from a lot of different places, but I'll just show you probably the easiest. And... The reason why I love this design so much is because it is tileable and not only tileable, you can build them right next to each other because the redstone does not interfere. So what you're going to need is a chest, you need a torch, one repeater, one comparator, um, some redstone, uh, obviously some hoppers and some blocks. And then very, very optional. I like to have an item frame for organization and I think that's currently about it so let's start uh, building what you're going to want to do first is build this shape just like this and again so that is the shape you're going to want it's basically and then you're going to want to put facing that way comparator facing that way two things of redstone and then you're going to want a chest um, on the same level as a comparator just two out a hopper inside of it and this is the most important part of the entire build you guys need to make sure to do this you need to have a hopper on top of it but it needs to be facing outwards like this if it is not facing outwards like this this design will not work and then a torch at the bottom that is the design itself and I'll build it one more time again you can start it from a different point if you know you want your chest right there you can go and start with the chest Put a hopper into it, put a hopper up top, and you could come uh, two out. Then you could go one that way, one there, one there, bang. Um, put a compare uh, repeater there, redstone, comparator, and torch. And that is the exact same thing, just built in a different style. But again, what's really nice about this, so that separates one item. But if you want to separate multiple items right next to each other, and there you go. Okay, so now let's do some separation, right? So let's say those are the end chests. Um, let's start with one other super important tip. Make sure you don't have a block there or there. Um, it's going to mess up your signaling. So just don't have blocks anywhere. I th this won't mess up your signal, but I think that this will. Because this will power this block. And So just don't have a block there. Leave that empty. Um, what you're going to want to do is grab the items that you want to separate. So let's just say you want to separate, I think, 22, right? So what we're going to need so i'm just going to split this in half 18 and then you're going to need four more of each item so you're going to do is you see this hopper that is sticking out inside this hopper stick 18 then add the four and then same thing so continue so you could stick 18 have four over there 
And then let's grab another chest. Bang. Okay, so now your sorter is done. And again, what I recommend, and this is what I'm going to be doing, um, you grab an item frame, put it on this one right here, and then you could actually, you know, label what each of those is. Just like that. Um, when one item gets sorted, you'll be able to see a little pulse. As you can see, the honey is going straight into there. Now let's just take that out, and now the slime is going, and you can see the slime is now going into right here, as you can see. So that is clearly sorting items, and if you put in anything that can't be sorted, what it'll end up doing is just bringing it to the end of the line. So what I'm going to have is all of the items in the game go across my giant assembly way, and anything that can't be sorted will go in a separate chest that I'll manually sort myself. Okay, everybody, so here's the plan. What I'm going to be doing is putting the inventory system there at the bottom like you saw, and then I know last episode I said I was going to be building the sorters inside these tall towers, but actually I'm just going to utilize the top portion of the building and I'm going to stick all of my sorters over there. So I'm going to get to it right now. I might even get it completely done and then I'll just talk to you guys about what I did. All right, everybody, much work has been done. Now, let me show you guys what I have built and trust me, this is a lot. I have been working on this for probably three to four days so here it is now again it might seem a little crazy so i'm gonna go and spectator mode in a second just to show it off but we have the same middle ring that i showed you guys before so these are all of my non-stackables tools armor um everything else is completely sortable and like you guys saw in the prior clip we just had the chests, but now you could see that I have all of the hoppers running down into all of our chests here, and everything is currently being automatically sorted, and it's actually completely done. Like I said, it's I'm, this project was so big that I just didn't want to like randomly record. I just did the whole thing. And then ever since the last clip, I, there was some new additions. So, you know, I added the concrete here because I totally forgot about it. You know, I forgot about TNT. I had to take out a couple items, things like, um, oh, oh, I almost like completely forgot to remind myself. I took a couple items out and I have to make note of them. Um, so let me literally just make a note here. I took out eggs, um, ender pearls and signs because those were 16 not 64 stackable and this design only works with uh 64 stack items um but yeah so let me go ahead i'm gonna go in spectator mode and let me give you guys a little tour um now a lot of work still has to be done um a lot of you know i want to cover up some of this redstone and make it a, a look a bit nicer um, but let me just start from the beginning of what I did, and then we'll go to what I still need to do. This is the beginning of the track. Obviously, this is going to go somewhere else eventually, but this is the beginning of the track currently. And I have a chest here. If I put any items into it, it will be sorted. And you can see that I have a hopper railing going across, and under it is a bunch of um, sorters. Now... A lot of the same items I want to go in the same chest. So, you know, cobble in it's separate, stone in it's separate, brick in it's separate, but then um, the brick and the cobble slabs I want together um, along with the stairs. Because if you guys look at all my chests, I always have the block and then the stair, but you don't notice any slab. That is because I'm combining the stairs and the slabs together, and if there are multiple forms of the slab and stair, they are all being included. So you could see, just actually by the hopper usage, th uh, this stair until this slab is all together in a single chest, so they're all being sorted and going to there. And then um, you could see that pattern across, obviously, you know, all of the andesite cobble and not cobble, or polished technically, will go in one, and that line runs across all the way until here and then i guess i'll just take you guys through the entire line so you could see it and then it swerves over here into some of the nether stuff and then once again same design just like i showed you before then it swirls around over here into all of the woods and i you know separated these by 
type of wood, stair and slab. Um, things like fences and doors and trap doors I did separately in another place, which you, I'll get to. So you have all of your woods, including the nether uh, woods, uh, quartz, prismarine, and then we got to your glass. And then um, it goes like this and it comes over here. And I came over here to finish the glass. So here are the glass panes because I didn't want to forget about those. It keeps going around. And we have now the different forms of fences and trap doors and doors and even all of like the oh and the pressure plates too even though a couple of these are metal then we keep going around these are empty spaces so we could utilize those later then we've got all of the dyes and we come around go over here we've got some of the plants and these are pretty random you know there's a lot of the crop plants but then there's you know things like the uh honey and all that and that comes around then we come over here we have more of the plants a lot of the seeds the saplings and then a couple random items then we run around here and we come over to a lot of the terracotta and the carpets um i guess i missed it a little bit yeah it comes over here to the terracotta and carpets we have some more carpets over there and it kind of just winds through here then it comes to the actual wool themselves and the um not the glazed terracotta it's the normal terracotta then we came over to the black stones some of the crystals and now we're getting into the actual drops and items so we've got you know um all of like the bone meal and the sulfur and all that i mean gunpowder and it comes around over here again this took a while it comes over here into um, a lot of the concretes and then it comes over here into um, a lot of the rarer drops you know and things that have to be crafted like sponges and ender chests and at this and well technically it comes over here we continue then it runs over here to some of the crystals then it's going to run over to a lot of these uh, ores you know in their uh, silk touch form along with a lot of the ore blocks um also the concrete sand right there and then lastly it comes over to the redstone components and runs a little bit all the way around comes back just to finish off with a couple more of the buttons and then it comes over here and this is the last line anything that hasn't been sorted in any of those items ends up right here so that is basically a tour and again the hoppers are a little bit crazy because I had to find a way um, to get all of these into their proper chest so again this has to come all the way down into its chest but the where it got confusing was a lot of the sorters went to the same chest so I ended up you know I had to bring hoppers down here coming down here but now this you know that sorter has to go to like this chest over here so I had to make a lot of weird spacings and transitions, but honestly, I think it looks kind of cool, but I probably will end up covering it up somehow. But yeah, um, I'm trying to think of anything I need to show you guys with the sorter, but as you can see, it's absolutely massive and this sorts just about every item in the game. There are a few items that I neglected just a little bit out of sheer laziness. Um, one of the prime examples is the coral. I just couldn't bother to create like 16 different separators for all the different types of coral even though i'm barely going to be using them so i'm just going to take that bullet and if i ever need to sort coral i'll just dare i say like a peasant just put it in its chest instead of automatically sorting it just like everything else but in other areas i did you know waste a lot of resources specifically like glass panes i probably didn't need to do the separators for glass panes but i said you know what i just i just did it and of course there is room for expansion i have a couple empty spots lying around because i again i had to take out the eggs the ender pearls stuff like that i do have some empty spots right here still and i have well i don't i, I don't want to cover up my drop hole but i basically have a little bit more area over there to play with for a few more um, but we're almost at capacity and I got fairly lucky um, I didn't calculate the size that I would need for this project and it almost came to exactly what I needed which is 
pretty lucky. And again, I wish there was a much better way to show you guys the extents the extensiveness of this sorting system, but I guess flying around will have to do um have to do it justice cuz again, this took a lot of, you know, planning and organization cuz I started from there and then I built all of these sorters and then I came over here and I built these sorters, all of these and then I had a little stint where I built all of these middle ones actually here. And then I built these ones along with these ones. Then I went over, I built all of those. And then I built all of the redstone ones and built this. And then lastly, I actually built this middle piece. A lot of these served for a lot of the items that I forgot, like concrete on accident. Um... And of course, like I said in my tutorial, it is all labeled and marked. So if I ever need to, you know, come over and redo it or add items or if something gets broken, I know what item this specific one sorts. So, you know, I have my turtle leg. Bam. I know for a fact that one is the one sorting the turtle leg just to make it visually easier for me. Um, but yeah, guys, that is the sorter. And... What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my base. I'm going to start packing up everything in shulker boxes and I'm going to let the system do what the system is meant to do and let it separate itself. That's the one great thing about building this. Whenever I had to move bases, I had to move all the chests along with it. Not this time. I'm just going to pack it up. I'm going to stick it in the conveyor belt and I don't have to move a single thing. Obviously, I have to move them here, but I don't have to sort a single thing and it'll all do it by itself. And before you guys start screaming at me in the comments about has it been tested? Is it worked? Yes, I have tested it. What I did, since this is the last item to be sorted, I stuck some of those buttons in the system at the beginning and I did make it all the way through the system and it did get sorted. So that means it is not broken anywhere. And I also sent an item that is not being sorted like some of the dead coral fans and that also made it down there to the chest. So. Um, there is no broken places on this uh, conveyor belt. There is no spaces for items to fall through or broken hopper lines. It is completely tested and it is completely done. The only thing not done is really um, making it look all pretty. Because once again, if we go down on the floor here and try not to get myself killed, it's pretty ugly. I mean, I kind of like how it looks because it's very industrial, but it is very ugly. So I'm going to end up having to fix how it looks. And uh, I said last episode I would do this, and I just never did. I have to work on the entrances to all of the buildings, but uh, it is very late, and I'm very tired. So for tonight, I'm going to be done, and whatever I need to update you guys in, I'll just update you guys in the next clip. I'm done for now. But the inventory system, ooh, stupid fighter, spider, you picked the wrong person to fight. That's a long way down, brother. That's it for tonight. Um, yeah. Okay, everybody. So I got an arrow in my eye, but I've also done a little bit of work on the place. So let me take a look. Let me show you guys the kind of theme. Oh, I keep forgetting that blocks are in my offhand. I've got a little bit of black concrete left, which gives you an idea of what I've done with the place so this is just the roof that i've created but if we go down here um and i just created a hole that's why there's like random little blocks everywhere i just created that hole um okay so this is the style i'm going for now still in the process i'm still kind of working out what i'm thinking here but like really what the thing i'm questioning is this area i don't know if i should just make it black like everything else um maybe if i should be using a different lighting source but here's the idea right i want it to be like black void themed throughout my entire build so as you can see like if you look at the walls you can't really tell how far it goes or the corners are where the end of it i mean you could tell sometimes a little bit but not really right um so that's kind of the idea here. And I, and again, I kind of want to go for minimalist, but I'm still like back and forthing with some ideas. Like I need light, obviously. So I'm thinking that maybe like this. And then I only did like this small portion here just so I could look out the door. Um, but even there, I think that looks really good just like that. But I got a debate on whether I'm using, whether I should use sea lanterns, if I should cover up the sea lanterns with some black carpets, if I should keep this in here, or if I should just yeah so basically i still don't know 
I'm tinkering around with it. I'm playing around seeing what maybe would look nice. Again, I did originally I was actually gonna go with everything white themed, but then I started putting in the black and I'm like, I think I like the black a lot better. And I just think like this is, you know, the emphasis is supposed to be on the inventory room, not on the room itself. So <clears throat> what better way to make emphasis on the inventory room than to make everything black? Um, so yeah, that's that's the idea currently. Um well, guys, I think I'm going to end this episode off here, and hopefully by the time I start next episode, I'll have an even clearer idea, and maybe I'll even have all of it done. We'll see. Um, but guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and a comment as it supports my channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.